welcome to uh, Monks Ferry. It's a nice uh, map there of um, this is the Wirral Peninsula. New Brighton, we're here. I live down that way. Bevington's a nice place. Port Sunlight is the famous village that was built by Lord Leverhulme. Rock Ferry, nice uh, pub there called the Circular Tea Rooms. That means you can get a cup of tea or coffee as well. Yeah, Birkenhead here, Wallasey, New Brighton. Uh, it's a great place to explore both sides and the top and bottom. It's great. So let's have a look around, eh? Let's go. There's a fisherman there. He's not talking to himself. He's doing a blog. I was chatting to him. So uh, zoom in. Well, that's out. Just gradually. Yeah, he's doing a blog. Soul fi fishing place or soul fishing. You know what I mean with the play on words. I think it's fishing place. It's, it's, uh, it's quite nice. Weather that is. There we are. So lucky to have something like this just literally up the road. There we go. I was here yesterday. Because I had to go back and change the size of um, what's it called a gillette thing, an armless thing. I needed that one of those, and it was. Uh, do you remember the, what's it called now? I had a card, and you had to have the card for it. I can't think now. It was. Uh, I had to go back again. So I just wandered a bit further away. It's a big shopping centre. What's it? Maximan or what? I don't know. Matalan. Yeah, I've got it. So that's his hobby. He's got two rods on the go there. And he's playing it, uh, playing the fishing game without mod cons. There's no sensors on the, on the rods. And he's, uh, enjoying himself. You're allowed to do that, as long as you uh, try to stay off grid, which you know. There we go, let's have a... Yeah, I got a picture of there's a, there was um, a military ship. And it was just by Camel Laird, which is, you can't see it, we're literally right next door to it, Camel Laird shipbuilders. And uh, that's the vessel there. So there's a short reel of that. I don't think I put that on YouTube. It was just a short reel I put on Facebook. And uh, just have a look at the landmarks here. There we are. The three graces are there, including the uh, live bird building. The live building, that is, with the two live birds. And that's that odd looking building there is the Museum of Liverpool. Uh, there's the tower, there's the various other names. It used to have a rotating uh, restaurant on the top of there. That was a long time ago. There's the uh, Catholic Cathedral. So the name street like the Mersey Funnel. And the link by Hope Street and then you've got the uh, Anglican Cathedral there. As I say, there's a there's a road you can go from one to the other from Hope Street. It's a nice walk along there. It's called Overpool as you get further away. This is actually Liverpool, you know, as you know, with the cathedrals and that. But 
further on there's overcrawl. And uh, there are the wind turbines that are in Frodium, which is on this side of the. Uh, it's actually off the Wirral, but uh, you can see them there. And along here is um, Rock Ferry down there. Beyond that there's a uh, park. And then uh, Manchester Ship Canal. No ships at the moment, so we'll just have a short walk, that's all it is. I've just remembered, over here, see where that tower is? That's um, the docks, Albert Docks. And just round there, which I've never been on, there's the wheel there, can you see that? Is the Catholic Church and just, just where those red cranes are. It's a sideways view of the wheel. Some mooring points there. I think they've been used for some time. Over the uh, barrier there. This is a strange looking thing. I think at some time you just walk around it. Looks like something that would be in a prison or something like that, you know, like an exercise thing and you walk around. And then they're all little groups, you know, and somebody comes over, has a friendly chat with you, you know. Just doing it in bits. Because I'm going to go for lunch. No, it's not lunch, is it? I meant my tea. It's four o'clock now. Time flies. Yeah. Didn't have a, a big lunch, so. When we get round this corner here, it should be a bit more interesting. If I sound uh, louder now, it's because my microphone was covered by my jacket slightly. Probably still was working, but uh, that's why it's a bit... Uh, Oh, there's something. Let's have a look here. See that tower thing? That's a vent. There are many of them either side of the Mersey. With fans, you know, to circulate the uh, tunnel. Which is under the, under the Mersey here. A bit more to see now we're going around the corner. That's um, a ferry point there, boarding point. That's sheltered from the rain or whatever, probably the snow later this winter. So there's that vessel again. If I get the name. I'll, I'll try and catch the name. Apparently if you you can follow where they're going, there's some kind of thing you put the name of the ship. That'd be worth a look, this other ship here on this side. I don't think it's a ferry. It's, well, it could be. It's very large if it is. It's some kind of... Um, I think it's commercial. It's definitely not a transport. Anyway, it'll probably say something on the side of these kind of ships. Particularly a commercial or a ferry. It could be for boats and that. Yeah, it could be an Irish ferry. Another 
view across the Mersey. Some kind of building with a commercial logo of some kind. Looks like microbiology or something like that, chemistry. Oh yes, we're coming to um, the Second World War, what's left of a German Second World War submarine. Well, there's something coming up the Mersey now, heading towards the port of Liverpool. There I go. I'll just keep that in mind, that's going to take quite a few minutes. Trail. I like these things, but then they I like the sort of gold or bronze look on them to highlight things. So you'd have to um, pause this. I, I will bother to do it, but some people, I, I, a friend of mine is a fanatic on history and he always wins, you know, with the the cheese triangle on uh, what's that game does history and a pay a pay by view telescope owl telescopes crew Cheshire see if I can get around here there's not a ferry's open well not Maybe it is at the front. Look at the rust there on the old sub. See that? Look at that. The anchor's there. Don't worry, there's a better view, I would think, around the other side, and that's where you'd have access to view. So I'm going to pause it now and appear nearer to the ferry point. Right then, do you remember we saw that logo? I was following along the Mersey. This is the other side of this Beale building. It's HM Her Majesty's Land Registry Office. Yeah. And there's just a little feature here. There's, I haven't been there, seen this before, so it's got some writing. chunks of uh, Welsh slate, some rocks and a little it's a landscape feature, actual landscapes, not commemorating anything. It wasn't little Jimmy the hedgehog that was flattened. No, it doesn't say anything. I still might have to pause. Here. Oh no, we might as well. I know it's uh, not much till we get round to the view. And I do want to capture that military ship, naval vessel, sorry. Get the name of it. Because I had a really close view of it, but unfortunately the bow, I think, was out of view. And it's not on YouTube anyway, it's on a short reel. There we are, 
The ferry is not open. It's quite a nice building. Welcome. Let's go across. This this now continues. I can't go around there. I think I might really have to pause and go across to the other side and then continue that way. Old tram lines that led to the ferry point. There we go. Let's continue. Just asked some bloke on the other side. I can't get through there because of the ferry part of this uh, path along the Mersey is blocked. Block the. Uh... Look at these old gates, or what's left of them. They're the posts. Yeah, Woodside Business Park. Oh yeah, the ferry is Woodside, which is I thought you know most people, but there are others obviously. Uh, yeah, I stopped then and then paused it. I should have said that I'm continuing. So they're still there. I spoke to that chap there, looking at his phone. But it says uh, tram lines look, look both ways and we both agreed that uh, I don't think they're running anymore. Sadly. See, this looks like a part of Manchester when they've got the train trams going along. I've parked at the, uh, the uh, Trafford Centre or whatever. I thoroughly enjoyed taking pictures. A lot of people are interested in stuff that is every day, including me. I didn't think it would. And if I'm whatever, anywhere else, if there's a tram or something, people are interested. So here we go. Just to investigate, make sure we're back on the path. Ah, we're fine. Back on track. What? Uh, not sure, is that the Polish flag? Could be. So I've gone on a, I couldn't see that submarine. It's a shame because the ferry, Woodside Ferry is not open. Well, there's people around there. Might get a glimpse of it. That's an old submarine, but I think it's a replica. It might not be, but uh, possible. And this little area of housing is called Wirral Waters. Fair enough. It's a nice uh, wall art. Thought I'd get a glimpse of that. Might have to uh, come out a bit. Let the camera for focus. There it is. Oh, there's another one there as well. There we are, have a look at them. Back to the original trail. Don't know how they got over there, but uh, there's not much to see, and it's uh, boarded off where the sub is, so uh, we can't see much there. So we'll just continue to our left. Yeah, it is open there. Like I say, there's not, not oh, there's a, another, um, what they call it, 
can zoom in and see me walking up there just for when you've got modern technology, see? It's nice, isn't it? There we go. And we're going near to the Stena line. Yeah, big ferry. Yeah, we'll have another look here. Some stainless steel. Artwork. Reflects the uh, the Mersey. Good. The hair unit. Oh. Hair by Casey Collins. Oh. Hair by Sarah Barrett. I wonder if celebrities come here, you know, like the Scissor Sisters. I'll get my coat. Oh, there's another, here we go. That's uh, Glenda Jackson. Yeah. Oscars. Very good, and that's a, a hair unit in there. Good. So, what was intended as a little short walk is now uh, just a little bit more than that. I'll still cut it down when I can. Curious to know what that is, really. Is it social housing or what? Little waters, private. I don't know. Operation Frankton. I remember that Cockle Shell Heroes. It was a film, I think, in black and white. So, if you want to see more, you can pause that. more on the other, oh there's one here with both sides, it's just the names of the crews, Thetis, HMS Thunderbolt, so it's originally, and that, I take it it was uh, originally the Thunderbolt, but I, I can't read, just let somebody if they want to read it. won't need to zoom in because I'm going to go a bit further anyway I've been here but it was a while ago obviously because these weren't here that's um, Paul Grade isn't it Lily Savage yeah, I know he was from Birkenhead that's pretty good as well isn't it yeah Yeah, there's a sign that says Wirral Circular Trail, Seacombe, and then finally New Brighton. Actually, it goes beyond that and it goes around the top of New Brighton towards West Kirby and etc. Four captains on it, or what? What's? Probably never leaves his post, so it looks like there's room for a whole 
restaurants and a bar. I never deserted deserted my post. No. That's big. Let's continue. Let's go. So now we know Stena Line is a red flag with an S on it. Is it still Stenoline? Yes, it says Stenoline in big blue letters. Connecting Europe, so, right. Maybe go as far as where this other ship is. That says warning submerge outfall. That means water that overflows, is it? Like they have on a canal and then it possibly flows down there. I don't know. See how I'll put it up there and it looks like I'm barely moving Good view of the big wheel at the Albert Dock now, so it's actually operating, moving very slowly. Yes, look at this. Uh, you're now at uh, location W12. I think that's due to somebody who might have fallen in the water. It's just a Oh, there's something happening here. It looks like a tugboat. Or oh, it could be a leisure boat, isn't it? Possibly. But there's no wood veil open, so... Where's it going? It's just doing a, a tour up and down. From the pier head, I would think. Something like that. I think I, think I can hear Jerry Marston. No, I'm imagining it. the name of a vessel there. So that's Stena Edda. I like that. A... Stena Edda. There she is. She's she's a big vessel. I can't look at she got big bulwarks. But I'm amazed at the size of that bridge. I remember family fortunes, and uh, you know they say name a bridge. And somebody, somebody she said, uh, bridge over troubled water. <laughs> yeah, you, could, you couldn't write the script for it. Very funny, so that's. Let's have a look at this other vessel or whatever. Could be an Irish or a sort of European. We'll see. Strong links with Ireland as well as everywhere else, but uh, and the United States where 
the 60s and 50s they used to get all the rock and roll rec records from uncles or whatever who were sailing on the ships to New York. Looks like it comes to an end here, yeah, so it's a private dock, isn't it, for the... Uh... I'll have a close look at that in a minute when I get near the end. Oh, look, a cannon. Yeah. It's a lovely day today. Nice, cool breeze. Not cold. It's just nice. And there's the entry into the gun. Oh my God, that's that's old, isn't it? That might not be original, but it possibly is. The cannon that was built specifically. I don't think it's relocated from a wreck or anything. I think this was a defensive camp, or maybe it was used. You know, they use it to warn or something like that. Anyway. Before I do that, I'll just show you a view because this is um, more familiar to me. That walk I've just done, I don't think, I can't hardly remember it. But uh, this is more uh, I'll just give a glimpse at that, I could possibly take a view here. They're developing here commercial and public uh, and educational things here on these old empty docks. So that's, uh, so I'll just go up a little bit. As you imagine, it's gonna t it would take a long time going up there. And there's a lot to see up there, so including there's a tower there. That's all part of development. Family housing as well. And there's interesting bridges that cross all these things, so nevertheless, that's gone. How do? Hello. Yeah, just. Uh, Oh yeah, got the name there, it's a bit, uh, in case you don't believe me, couldn't see it very well, see, Stena Edda. And there's that ship there, it looks like a Norwegian flag on the funnel, on the uh, funnel, yeah, Bor EU, that's about it really, it comes to an end here, so, unless there's a sign or something. Maybe I've seen that and it looked like the end and then there was a, it branched off to the side as well. So we'll see. Oh yeah. It does go on, but I won't be going much further. Like I say, that circular trail, I can continue along here. Oh, it looks like a new tarmac path there for the bikes. So let's just get this ship here. Yeah, not much more I can get there, so. Well, thank you for joining me. You can subscribe and uh, follow what the next event will be I have no idea myself so there we are I think that's I mean that, that could be the shipping uh, sort of logo that be on a blue cross but uh, that's it old chimney there okay thank you for joining me see you next time